evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader. Today is Tuesday, November the 7th, 2023. I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, the Tullahoma Wildcats win their first playoff game. Tullahoma will honor veterans on Friday and Motlow has a new agreement for nursing students to get their bachelor's degree. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader. Parkview Senior Living, active, independent senior living at its finest. Hi there, this is Terry Stroop, Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. Summer's about to wind down, fall's right around the corner. It's time to get signed up for your fall maintenance checks and let's get out and support our local high school football this year. Let's go, cats. My husband was diagnosed with a spinal infection. He lost his ability to swallow and the movement of his legs. I couldn't turn over in bed, I couldn't walk, I couldn't eat. They were just wonderful in the treatment and care they gave my husband. I uh, regained my mobility where I was able to go home. It is miraculous. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Wildcats won their first playoff game on Friday night under the guidance of second year head coach Coy Sisk over Nolansville. News leaders John Gray sat down with the coach on Saturday morning to discuss the win. Tullahoma High School had a victorious first round playoff game last night against Nolansville. A big time game. Uh, Hey, Nolensville, super good opponent. Those guys over there do a great job. Hey, just real happy that we were able to represent a hey, Region 5-5A and they hey, come out on top, you know. Hey, a lot of people said that, uh, hey, six, Region 6 out of Williamson County over there was going to sweep us. So, hey, luckily two of us made it out. Two, 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 two of us made it, made it out yeah. Friday. So, uh, hey, hats off to our kids. And, uh, hey, you know, good job, Nolensville. They're a tough football team and uh, our guys held in there with them and, and battled all the way to the fourth quarter. Well, you know, you, you remember a couple of years ago when that school first developed, we were, we were all playing 4A that yes. year, and uh, I don't even know if they had a senior class. Uh, and the first time we played them, and yeah, they, were, they were tough, tough, tough. And, and uh, I, was, I was thinking, man, this, this ball game right here is going to be hard to win and, and, and it was hard to win because it was a uh, in the trenches gut busting uh, the other night I was watching the pros play and I was watching the Titans play uh, uh, Steelers mm -hmm. and I enjoyed that ball game because it was like that old school football it was one right down there on the line of scrimmage yeah and it wasn't a whole lot of fancy stuff going on it's who's gonna whip who right there and exactly. that's what that ball game was last night now was it fancy and full of entertaining stuff not really but it was if you're a real football person it was fun to watch because you saw what goes on you know face to face what uh, how you got to beat the guy in front of you no doubt uh knows for since they've become a school all right, since they started playing, this is the first time that they have not advanced to the second round. So they've made the playoffs every time, and this is the first time they haven't advanced. And as far as big and exciting plays, uh, nothing stretched out real big last night. But uh, sometimes football is like that. Hey, you know, it comes down there to the wire, and like you're saying, hey, it becomes a game of attrition there at the end. Who can outlast what? Who's going to make the first Who's mistake? Who's in better shape? And uh, so last night our guys were able to execute. And you see that later on in the game that as they wear down, we're able to finally get one squirted through, you know, <laughs> and uh, get, get more fancy. Uh, broke loose, he's able to get out. But, hey, special teams, defense. And offense played complimentary football. They last did night. do I'm that. Proud of them. And quick first quarter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, we're not throwing. Uh, nobody's throwing the ball much. It's a running game, and running game eats clock up pretty quick. 
Well, that when we are throwing the ball, you know, there in the first series, you're completing those balls, you're staying yeah. in bounds. And uh, so, hey, real quick first quarter, but uh, hey, a lot of football left to play. There, there certainly is, and the Wildcats are ready for it. And, uh, you know, the folks in the stands, uh, it wasn't a great crowd, but it was an exciting crowd. They were, they were in the game, and, uh, of course, the student section was packed in and ready to go. And just tell a home of high school football, and uh, I want to thank the folks over at the quarterback club and their concession stand, Wilson over there at the Swag Shack and all the things that they do. They, they have got a hamburger over there this year that is, that is special. And uh, if you didn't get one, you know, I don't know, even if we win next week, we probably won't come home for another playoff game, will we? It just depends on how it all shakes out. But, yeah. Hey, you know, some neat things that, that I didn't bring up, that I don't say enough about it. You know, Telehoma really is a special place. L last week, when we were on our way to Shelbyville, uh, probably right there around uh, the city limit line coming in, or excuse me, the county line around Bedford County, there were a group of fans, parents, whatever, hey, that were out there on the highway, hey, raising cane. And <laughs> they had signs and everything else. And, uh, I love it. Hey, so that, and then like last night, uh, they contacted me yesterday afternoon to see if some of those parents could come out there and, you know, kind of get in, involved in the run through when the kids come out. Hey, that's just great support for, for their kids and everybody else's, everybody kids. else's kids. So, I mean, that makes Telehoma a real special place. There's no doubt about that. It is that. You know, the offensive front right there finally kind of getting it worked out just a little, hey, just a little late there. Yeah. You know, hey, but it'll be coming later. Uh, so far, uh, like I said, Nolansville doing a good job defensively and uh, our guys, hey, you know, Hey, playing what they can play and trying to control field position from time to time. And yeah. That, that's going to become real crucial in the third and fourth, as we'll see. Well, you know, uh, right now, while we're doing this show, if I, if I move this way right here, look behind me. Eli Grow, number eight, today, and here's Legacy Creamery uh, T-shirts out in front. They're having a walk, run, and ruck today over mm -hmm. at, the, at the school. So when you get through watching this show, get on in your car and go down there and be part of that. That's a fundraiser uh, for that, the Legacy Foundation to build a field house uh, and workout uh, facility on the, at the high school, not just for football, but for all sports. Uh, and that was Eli Groh's dream. No doubt, uh, and, and I was I was privy enough to to know Eli, and he's a super kid, a uh, super individual, uh, and his his mom, dad, Cassie, and Tony Grow uh, started this foundation yeah. uh, when Eli passed away. And what it was was they wanted a facility that all sports would be able to work and get better in. Eli's accident happened on the way back uh, from a training facility, yeah. and. Uh, so they wanted somewhere here that people would be able to go. That's their dream. That's what they're shooting for. That's what Eli wanted. And Eli uh, drew the plans. No doubt. And so, <clears throat> it's, uh, hey, it's a really great thing. If nothing else, just swing by there because hey, there's some super people out there running. Oh, yeah. Today. And they're doing something I can't do. I, I can't run anymore. No, I they, can't either. They told me one time. John, uh, when I was in college, they came to me and said, Mr. Sisk, the NCAA's decided that you are out of, you're no longer eligible for college athletics. I said, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to run anymore. So, <laughs> and there's the horn. And another horn. <laughs> Telehome wins playoff, first round of playoffs. Or a top ball game. Uh, shoot, man. Cold. Hey, Great fact, football night. I bet so. those kids didn't get cold. Nah, it's football hey, weather. Ready. It's football weather. Football weather and, hey, you know, being able to make it back into the playoffs was a big accomplishment. We missed that last year. And uh, being able to go ahead and win a playoff yeah, game yeah. is another good thing. Mayor Ray Noas and the Tullahoma Board of Aldermen are pleased to announce that U.S. Air Force Colonel Randall Gordon, commander of the Arnold Engineering Development Complex at Arnold Air Force Base, will be the featured speaker at the City of Tullahoma's annual Veterans Day ceremony. 
Veterans and the public are invited to attend the Veterans Day ceremony to be held on Friday, November 10th at South Jackson Performing Arts Center at 404 South Jackson Street at 11 a.m. Others taking part in the ceremony include Mayor Ray Noas, Reverend Marty Nutter, retired Commander, United States Coast Guard, retired Richard Ellis, American Legion Post No. 43 Adjunct Lynn Hauser, Marine Corps League Detachment 1128 Past Commandment Douglas Dietz, Tennessee Army National Guard Commander DAV Chapter 90 Commander Howard Thompson, Boy Scout Troop 402, and Daughters of the American Revolution, Mary Ann Scott. Complete details and schedule can be found at the city's website, TelahomaTN.gov. And after these messages, we'll be right back. I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. Do it all with confidence, kindness, and strength. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing. Welcome back. Montlow State Community College recently signed an articulation agreement with Herzing University in Nashville. The agreement ensures that Montlow students who achieve an Associate of Applied Science in Nursing can transfer to Herzing and obtain their Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Thomas P. Perrin, Sr., Associate Vice President of Community Partnerships at Herzing University, visited Montlow to sign the agreement with Montlow's Dr. Regina Verdon, Executive Vice President of Academic Affairs. Articulation agreements make transferring to a four-year institution a smooth transition for students and ensure that students only take the courses necessary for degree completion. This signing symbolizes a new working relationship between the two institutions and benefits nursing students by supporting the pathway needed to achieve career readiness. The objective of articulation and transfer agreements is to save students time and money. Ultimately, this agreement gives Notlow's nursing graduates a convenient opportunity to further their education and career. Herzing School of Nursing offers online and on-campus class options. Since the beginning of the pandemic, approximately 3,000 nurses have entered the workforce from Herzing. Montlow's nursing graduates consistently had a job placement rate of 95 to 100 percent and the department is thankful to partner with an institution that shares a desire to educate the next generation of nurses. To learn about Montlow's nursing program and how to apply, visit montlow.edu and search for Nursing Allied Health or interested folks can contact Nursing Education at mscc.edu with any queries. Additionally, you can go to herzing.edu to learn about their program offerings and how you can take advantage of this new opportunity. And we'll be right back after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. Mom. Dear. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who wants to care of you. Hi there, this is Terry Stroop, Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. Summer's about to wind down, fall's right around the corner. It's time to get signed up for your fall maintenance checks and let's get out and support our local high school football this year. Let's go, cats! Yeah. 
Ow. Welcome back. At the recent Tullahoma Mayor's Quarterly Planning and Coordinating Committee meeting, retired Colonel Beverly Lee spoke to the group about her group, Dream Tullahoma, about what they've been dreaming up. Well, it's nice to be back. I'm Beverly Lee. It's a, I'm actually the chair of Dream Tullahoma, and Dream Tullahoma has as its um, mission to help with our economic development in high technology and aerospace areas, as well as to preserve our aerospace history. So we've got quite a few things going on. Uh, we are, have replaced some of the Center of Excellence uh, City of Tullahoma banners, and so we are looking to replace a few more because the wind and damage has been pretty significant to them, so we're replacing those. We're also in the midst of refurbishing some of the F-16 aircraft, that uh, the model aircraft that we see. So we'll be doing that, and you'll see a, a lot of new things coming up uh, with those. The other thing is we partnered with TAEDC, and we're um, working on workforce development issues for high technology as well as aerospace type uh, needs, given the growing um, employees that AEDC will see in the next few years. We've also sponsored several events along with uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the Tullahoma Area Economic Development Board, the City of Tullahoma at Arnold Engineering Development Complex. Uh, one of them where, you know, obviously is there, they have a lot of different events through the years. You can actually pick and choose which ones you want to do. We help with the veterans picnic. We also help with the uh, uh, Air Force Ball, which was absolutely fantastic. It was held at the Manchester Coffee County Conference Center, and it was fantastic. They had a Army Sergeant Jay Strabino speak, and Jay um, had, was shot 13 times in Iraq and lived to tell his story, which was absolutely riveting, and by a miracle of God, he, he survived. So he is now working on Senator Marsha Blackburn's office, and he is a very good resource for all of us here in Tullahoma and the needs we have for any military um, things, uh, especially deal, dealing with Arnold AEDC. Um, I want to turn to Arnold Community Council because I don't, you know, I'll be that representative today. They actually have their uh, annual dinner and fellows induction on November 16th. Everyone is invited. You can contact them, get your table, sponsor a table, bring some people there. It too will be at the Tullahoma Coffee, I mean, excuse me, the Manchester Co Coffee County Conference Center on November 16th. Their guest speaker this year is a Lieutenant General Orville. Bruce Orville Wright, and he was a former F-4 and F-16 pilot. I actually got to work with him when he was the Director of Operations at the uh, United States Forces in Japan. So he's a, he'll be a riveting speaker too, and I'm sure he'll have some great stories to tell because he is now the Director of the Air, For Air, and Space, Air Force and Space Force Association. Um, the other thing is Secretary of the Air Force, Frank Kendall, recently visited AEDC. That just shows you where we sit in the pecking order of the needs of our national security. And we've had many other, they've had many other visitors too, but that one was a, a very significant trip. The other one is Colonel Gordon and other leaders were at AEDC at our meeting on uh, Tuesday. We're made aware of the uh, approval of the first reading of the planned unit development for almost a thousand units there. That certainly will help in bringing those high paying job seekers and that want to work at Arnold or for any of the other high tech companies that we have in this area, that will help bring those jobs here to Tullahoma. So we're really excited about that. And so was the leadership because it's desperately needed here in Tullahoma. Um, the other thing is, um, we, I, I'll let Greg Gressel know now, uh, Dream Tullahoma would like to sponsor a Christmas tree that you have at South Jackson, because last year we did it for a Purple School Award, and we uh, actually highlighted Tullahoma High School and their Purple School Award. And now this year, Robert E. Lee has a Purple School uh, Award program, and that is a program where each school 
that becomes a Purple Star School will um, help military children acclimate themselves to the high school or the middle school or the elementary school since they travel and they transfer more often than normal uh, within other families. The other thing is I, I happen to chair the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce Military Affairs Committee and they are actively seeking ways where they can act, um, assist in gifts, uh, well not gifts, but small tokens of our appreciation to award winners and um, other young professionals, how we can acclimate them better into our community. Um, no, I didn't hear anybody, and maybe someone's here from uh, the Kiwanis Club, but Highway 41 was an absolute phenomenal success. And on behalf of the American Legion, I just want to say that it was incredible. People would walk up to our booth and just donate in memory of their father or their uncle or their child or whomever. So it was really an imp impressive venue. I took lots of videos and took it, sent it to my kids in New York and Pennsylvania and say, just an average night in Tullahoma, Tennessee. <laughs> and, and, uh, but it was really incredible, I thought, and uh, very much appreciated. And then the last thing for National Guard, um, we do have a new commander for the 30th Troop Command. They command over 1,500 National Guard members, and his name is Colonel Mark Tyndall. So again, if you see someone, thank them for their service. Everyone's busy now, as we all know, and we, we appreciate everything uh, Arnold, the National Guard, the, our veterans do, and that's pretty much what I wanted to say today. Thank you. We'll be right back with more news after these messages. We tend to lose our motivation when we have something that's chronic, but you've got to do what you can early on as you can. After I'd exercise like that, I would have a lot of energy to do housework or whatever I needed. Well, I would recommend it highly to anyone at any degree of Parkinson. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. For many senior citizens, life looks like this, but it doesn't have to. When you make your home at Parkview Senior Living, life after retirement takes on a whole new meaning. Daily exercise options, fun outings, happy hour, game nights, movies and popcorn, arts and crafts, enjoying friends over chef-prepared meals. Parkview Senior Living, where you're always home, but you're never home alone. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. There will be no confusion this Thursday as the Tullahoma High School Theater Department brings William Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors to the stage. The show will run from Thursday, November 9th until Sunday, November 12th. Those wanting to attend are encouraged to buy tickets in advance, purchasing tickets online at onthestage.com, then searching for shows in Tullahoma. Limited tickets will be available at the door for $5. Tullahoma City school faculty and high school students will receive free admittance when they show their school ID. The Comedy of Errors is one of William Shakespeare's earlier works and centers around two sets of identical twins who were separated at birth and unknowingly ended up in the same town. The result leads to a series of humorous misunderstandings and misidentifications. THS theater director Benjamin Spurlock said, quote, rehearsals have been going really well. I'm thrilled to bring this show to life because the students have worked hard. Memorizing Shakespeare has been a new experience for all of them." End quote. Ronnie Patel, who plays Dorino of Ephesus in the production, expanded on Spurlock's comments and stated that it's been a challenge but a welcome one and she is ready for Thursday night. Her co-actors co echoed Patel's uh, sentiments and as the show dra date draws near, they cannot wait to have an audience on hand. Callie Evey, who plays Antophilus of Syracuse, said, quote, everything is starting to come together and I cannot wait to perform on stage. 
We are still finalizing a few things, but I am so excited to see it all come together." End quote. As the THS Theater Department gets set to debut its fall production, it's been a whirlwind experience for first-time stage manager senior Avery McLean. However, she said she cannot wait for the play to get underway. Showtime on Thursday and Friday is scheduled for 7 p.m. Saturday will feature two performances, one at 2 p.m. and another at 7 p.m. And Sunday will only have a matinee performance at 2 p.m. Go out and support your young budding artists. And don't forget to tune in to this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. On this week's show, we'll get all the details about the Telehoma Christmas Parade and how you can be a part of it. Telehoma Tour of Homes is coming up, and Jackie Duncan will stop by with a history lesson. We'll have all that and more on this week's Living. And stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. Hi, my name is Ringo. Here at Barkview Senior Living, they're human friendly. That's why I love it here, and so does my senior human. When they want a bite, they get chef-prepared meals, and so do I. Movies in the theater, day trips, walks on the trail, and other senior humans to play with. The grass and the grounds are exquisite. It's everything my human needs to be healthy and active. Barkview. <clears throat> a park view senior living for your dog's best friend you hi there this is terry stroop stroop's accurate refrigeration summer's about to wind down falls right around the corner it's time to get signed up for your fall maintenance checks and let's get out and support our local high school football this year let's go cats we teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us and outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely, you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this date. Our record high was in 2005 at 79 degrees. Record low was in 1910 at 23 degrees. Average high for this day is 63, and the average low is 39. Mostly clear for tonight with a low of 53. Sunny skies for Wednesday with a high of 81 and a low of 60. And mostly cloudy skies for Thursday with a high of 73 a low of 48. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. for News Leader. Stay safe and have a great evening.